This is Cambridge Secondary One Checkpoint Paper Two, October twenty sixteen. In Paper Two, we can use calculator. So let's start. Question One. Write the missing numbers in these ratios. A part we have forty five over sixty, and this side. Denominator is four. We need to look for a number that can go in the numerator. So, if you divide these forty-five and sixty, they both are multiples of fifteen. So, we can divide it by fifteen. So, fifteen times four is sixty, and fifteen times three is forty-five. So, in the answer column, we will write three. Next one, fourteen over something. Equals to two over five. So to get two from fourteen, we divide it by seven. So here you get by divide by seven, but it is the reverse process, so it will be times seven. So which is thirty-five. Question two. The diagram shows a probability scale. This is the probability scale. I write the letters for the probability of these events on the probability scale. The first one has been done for you. Let's see. Uh, A is the probability of newborn baby being a boy. So either child can be a boy or a girl. So probability will be half. That is zero point five. So this is already done for us. Uh, next, the probability of picking a blue pen from a box containing two black pens and eight blue pens. We need the probability of blue pen. How many are blue pen? They are eight. Out of how many? In total, two plus eight that is ten. So this is zero point eight. So zero point eight box we will put B into that. Part C, the probability of rolling. A seven on dice with faces uh, numbered one to six. So dice always contain numbers from one to six. There is no number seven on the probability. So uh, probability scale. So uh, sorry on uh, the dice. So this will be zero. So zero is here. So we have C. So the next one, the probability of picking up letter M at random from letters game. So total number of letters four M is once only. That is zero point two five. So obviously we are left with only D. So that D will go in this box. Question number three. The diagram shows eight points labeled A to H. So we can see points A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. They are on this diagram. Question is the put put a ring around two points that the line Y equals to four passes through. Now this is Y axis, and here is Y one, two, three, and here is Y four. So we are going to draw a line on that. So the question is two points that are on this line. So on this line we have point A and point D. So we are going to circle point A and point D. Part B. Write down the equation of the line that passes through points C and G. So let's see where is C and G. C and G is here. So we are going to draw a line on C and G. So let's draw this line. So this is the line. So we can see this line is on x-axis. So what is the line here? This is x equals to three on this line. So equation of the line will be x equals to three. Question four. Here is a calculation: 109 divided by 15. We are given 7, and remainder is 5. So 109, when you divide it by 15, 15 times 7 is 105. So remainder is 4. So how we will write it down? We are going to write it down. Uh, denominator always 15. 
so remainder goes up divisor is here so this is our answer to circle question 5 translate the triangle 1 square right and 3 square down we need to translate this triangle so we can choose any point let's say we are taking this point so 1 square right 1 square right here and 3 squares down 1 2 and 3 so that means our this point is now here at this point uh, so uh, after this you can see we can draw the line this goes two squares this way so I can use red pen for that so that you can see it clearly then this side two squares and just join the other two ends so this is the new position of the triangle question number six this graph shows some input and output values for a number machine so we are given these values here we can see these points on the coordinate grid and so we have input this side and output on this side so the question is complete the number machine the input and the output so we need to fill something here let's see how we can do that so as we look on the graph for the input if input is 1 then output is 4 if input is 2 output is 5 and if input is 3 output is 6 and if input is 4 then output is 7 so we can see the order here uh, what is the pattern is if 1 and 3 2 5 you can see there is difference of 3 in all so if we add 1 plus 3 4 2 plus 3 5 3 plus 3 6 4 plus 3 7 so in this column we can write down addition of 3 we are getting by adding 3 into the input to get the output question 7 Manjeet wants to carry out a survey to find out what student in her school like to do in their spare time. She designed a questionnaire. Uh, here is one of the questions on her questionnaire. What do you like to do in your spare time? We need to tick, uh, they need to tick one box, either read or play sport. Write down one problem with this question. So as you can see, there are so many activities that can be done during the spare time, but they have given only two choices. So we can say there are very few choices. We just need to write down one answer or you can write down there may be other choices also. So this is the one problem. Uh, question number eight. Mia and Paul are looking at the same whole number. Uh, the to the nearest thousand it's 44,000 and to the nearest ten it is 44,000. They both are correct. Write down one possible value of the number. So there may be uh, different answers. So let's try. Uh, so after rounding uh, Mia's answer is 44 and Paul's answer is also 44,000 for both of them. So this number uh, she is rounding it to nearest thousand. So this is thousands place. So to be this, this can be 3 then either this can be uh, more than 5 any number. 600 let's say 40. So when you round it off so it will be 44,000 because this is more than 5. So for him uh, let's see we can take number 4 because he is rounding at tens place. So tens place is this one. So uh, this number should be less than 5. So let's say it is 4. So any number between this these can be the answer of this question. So for let's take 43,600 and maybe 41, 42. So when you round this number to 1000, 
place it will be 44000 and when you round this number to the tens place it's going to be again 44000 question 9 a bag contains black gray and spotty beads we have beads here this is the key the bead is, a bead is picked at random from this bag without looking uh, so first let's see how many black one two three four we have four black beads and gray one and two they are two and spotty they are three one two three uh, so the question is write down the probability of not picking up black bead so black is four not picking black is five so five over total number of the beads 4 plus 2 6 6 plus 3 9 so 5 over 9 is the answer for this part part b write down the probability that b is bead is black or spotty black or spotty so they are 4 plus 3 that is 7 so total number of outcomes is 9 so answer will be 7 over 9 Question number 10. The population of country is given to us. Write this number correct to the nearest million. So this is the millions place. So when you round it up, so it's going to be 4. So this is our final answer. Question number 11. The pie chart shows the color of men's coat and women's coat sold in a shop last Thursday. So we have two pie charts here. Total coats here is 76, here 108. Ahmed says last Thursday the shop sold more women coats than uh, men's coat. So let's see. Uh, he's talking about the black coats. So the number of black coats here in this, this is half, half of 76, that is half of 76, that is 38, and this side half of 108, this is 54. So women coat are more, so he is correct. Give a reason to explain your answer, so this explanation can be uh, explained here. Uh, so for men, black coats half of 76 which is 38 for women this is half of 108 which is 54 as you can compare 54 is more than 38 so women coat are being sold more than men Number 12. The graph shows the number of hours of sunshine for 6 days in November. The column for 10th November is missing. This one is missing here. The mean number of hours of sunshine for 6 days is 4.5. So we are given the mean for 6 days that is 4.5. Uh, so as we can see the numbers here number of hours of sunshine this is 2 and this one is 4 this is 5 this is 8 3 this is missing let's say this is x so mean mean uh, how you get mean you will get mean by adding all the numbers 5 plus 8 plus 6 plus 3 divided by the total that is 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 so when you add them together, 4 plus 2, 6, 11, 11 plus 8, 19 plus 3 is 22 plus x as it is equals to 6. And this mean is given to us equals to 4.5. So 22 plus x equals to 4.5 times 4.5. Six, so x will be when you subtract it. This is uh, twenty-seven minus twenty-two. That is five. 
नंबर थर्टीन मारियो फ्रांसो एंड लीना शेयर्स 153 हंड्रेड इन रेशो टू थ्री फोर वर्कआउट हाउ मैनी बैजेस मारियो गेट मारियो गेट टू आउट ऑफ नाइन टाइम्स 153 एंड फिफ्टी थ्री वैन यू कैलकुलेट दिस दिस इज थर्टी